So I have been getting this comment a lot. How to edit like think it. So let's learn how he makes his character animate like this. And if this video performs well, I will make a detailed video on this topic. So let's start. So first I'm going to take this photo and remove the background from this person. If you want to learn how to do that, you can watch my this video or use any other photo editing software. After you remove the background, we're going to add a background note and make it transparent. Then we're going to add a multi-merge node. And before connecting with the media in node, we're going to add a polygon node with the media in node. Let's invert the mask and we're going to mask out the hand first. So let's make a rough mask. Once the mask is done, let's invert it back and then it will leave us with this hand. Now let's connect the media in with the multi-merge node and organize everything before we move on to the next step. Now copy the media in and paste it and connect it with the multi-merge node. And now let's mask the head. So add a polygon node, invert it and start masking. Alright, once you make a rough mask, then let's disconnect the polygon so that we can see the image to make the adjustments and make the mask a little better. Once the adjustments are done, we can connect back the polygon and invert it back. And now finally, we have to mask the body and it's pretty easy. First copy this media in node and connect it with the multi-merge node. Then copy these two polygons and then we are going to need a matte control node. And then connect the matte control node with the media in and then connect both masks with matte control gray input. Or if you hold the alt key and release it, then it will give you this menu and then you can select the garbage mat. And lastly, connect the other polygon with this polygon. And now if we view the matte control, we will get only the body. After that's done, we can now start animating the character. So first let's add a media out node and view the media out. And then let's go to the first media in node. This is our hand. So let's rename all the media in node. Now after the media in, add a warper node. I believe this node is only available in studio version, but don't worry, I'm going to show you another method which you can use it on the free version. Now select the warper node and add point to your hand. You can just click on hands and it will add points and open on screen control and increase the scale control so that you can grab it easily. Then you can try moving the point and it will distort your image and don't move too much. Just move a little bit. So I'm going to move it like saying like hi. Then I'm going to add a transform node after that. And if I move the pivot point you will say this is the pivot point so grab it and place it right where the cut is from the body so now if i move the angle it will move like that now go to the node which has the body and select the polygon which has the hand mask adjust the polygon to blend it with the hand so that we can fill in the gaps then we can go back to the warper node and take the warper scale to zero. Then go to the transform node and add a keyframe where you want your hand to animate like that. And then go to the first frame and add the default value, which is one. Then go to the warper node, add a keyframe on zero at the first frame. Then go a few frames forward and then take the slider until it feels right. And the uh, hand animation looked like this, which is a little slow. So I'm going to take the last keyframe and, and bring it closer. I will do the same with the warper keyframe so that we get a faster animation. That looks good. Now select both uh, transform keyframes and click on this ping pong icon. It will keep repeating this animation. Do the same with the warp animation as well so that we get this repetitive animation. Then let's move on to the head. This time we're not going to use the warper node. We're going to use grid warp node, which is available on the free version. Let's view the grid warp. First add a keyframe here, then move few frames forward. Now if you grab this line and move it a little bit, you will get this kind of warp. Again, don't do it too much. Then again, you can select all the keyframes and click on this ping pong to keep it repeating. Then add a transform node and again, just move the pivot to the bottom of that face and then animate the angle and also make it ping pong. And of course, finally go to the body image and click on the polygon, which has the head mask 
and then adjust the head mask to fill the gap and you are done do let me know if you like this kind of long tutorials and you can get this project file from my patreon